Well, good morning, everybody. Gather on in. It's time to begin our service today. And uh, I sense an extra buzz in this place today. That's a dad joke, I guess. But uh, as you walked in today, you see that we are getting ready for vacation Bible school starting tomorrow, all next week. God's story, the best story of all. Amen. Amen. I was thinking about uh, this uh, vacation Bible school. I was thinking about the Toy Story. And um, uh, obviously, some of you maybe seen those movies. You notice that it's primarily about friendship. It's about community. It's about relationship. People from, well, I shouldn't say people, cartoon characters uh, uh, from all different styles coming together and forming a family and uh, it, just experiencing life together in some way. And isn't that a lot like the church? We are people from all walks of life, people that have come from so many different places in our life, but God has formed us together. And just like Toy Story testifies of the power of friendship, we are welcomed by God to become a friend of God. I want you to stand together with me today, and I, I want us to just consider for a moment the invitation that God gave to Abraham when he called him out of the Ur of the Chaldees, and he said, come and journey with me by faith. Abraham, the Bible says, went out not knowing where he was going to land, but he was walking by faith with God, and that faith caused him to become a friend of God. Amen. Faith is so powerful. If Buzz Lightyear can go to infinity and beyond, faith can go farther than that. And I know today that we, through faith, connect with God and through God connect with one another. And what a joy that we have to have this relationship with the Lord. It's good to be together today. Why don't we just begin this service by lifting up our voices, raising our hands, and thanking God for His blessing. I believe He's got something wonderful in store for all of us today. And it's not fiction. It's real. I said it's not fiction. It's real. The reality of God, the reality of His love for us. We thank you, God, today. Lord, that you have desired to meet with your people. That you desire to draw us together into a cohesive family. God, that you through faith can move mountains in our life and you can give us the mighty victory. We give you praise today, God. We ask you, Lord, to just fill this house with your glory. Touch each and every one of us, Lord Jesus. Uh, we've come to experience, Lord, your mighty power in the name of Jesus. Uh, for we know that all things are possible. The praise team is about to lead us in a song that reminds us that our God is a miracle worker. That our God is able to move mountains. That our God is able to do mighty things far above anything we can even imagine or think. Is anybody in the house serving a God like I am that works miracles? Signs and wonders follow them that believe. We are believers today and I just anticipate that God wants to do something in this house that is awesome. If you've come today expecting that, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Power, we believe in your power. You're the God. 
but we're talking about when the Lord walks into this room, mighty things can happen. Amen. If you have never experienced the presence of the Lord and you're here today, just raise your hands. Just say, Lord, I need you. And he will meet you at the point of your need every time. Hallelujah. And we're expecting that to happen this week with these children. He's going to meet them right here in this room. And God's going to do mighty things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. starts to tremble at the light that you bring when you walk into the room every heart starts burning and nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet and worship you
walked into this room light has come into this place the presence of God is here in this room but it's also here for each of us to just reach out and say Lord fill me fill this house our body is a house it's a temple of the Holy Ghost God fill it refill it let your peace presence Come into each of our hearts, Lord God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Wow. Let's continue to just embrace what we feel here and just reach out to him. There is no condemnation in this place. Light has come. Jesus has come for each of us. Hebrews 4 and 6. So the Lord has come in to this place. He has walked into this place. But this scripture, we have a part in it too. Hebrews 4 and 6. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and to and find help in the time of need. So it's a twofold thing. The presence of God has walked into this place. It's here. It's very evident. But we have a part in it. We come boldly before his throne of grace in prayer. 
That's what that scripture is referring to. So I know that there are those that are facing some obstacles, challenges in life, maybe some sickness, maybe some hurt, maybe a feeling of hopelessness or loss or feeling lost. Your part is, you have the faith. Your part is to come boldly before his throne. So whatever right now is in your spirit, troubling you, you bring that before the throne of grace. And there, the scripture says, you will, you may find that we may find, obtain, sorry, let me start over. Let us come bold, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and to find help in the time of need. This week is VBS. I'll do some announcements after our prayer time, but this week is VBS. As you see, many have worked tirelessly on this. This is an opportunity that we as a church and a church family reach out not only to our own, but to the community. Let's pray together that each of those working on VBS will be refreshed, renewed in him, and that those that are attending will find salvation. Our kids will get the Holy Ghost. Um, visitors will have a closer walk with the Lord, get the Holy Ghost. This also impacts families too. So let's, let's just pray for that. Um, there are events coming up. Um, you know, anything we do around here needs to be covered in prayer because we don't just do it for ourselves. There's a purpose. And we want God to step into that purpose. Everything that we do, we want God to be right in the middle of it, to walk right into that room. So we have some uh, things coming up. I might as well just say it right now. So we have some things coming up this Thursday is our continuation of summer nights. It's game night. Our Pastor Cox will be doing our devotion. There will be some light refreshments, uh, ice cream, coffee, cookies, there's going to, it's a game night, so there's going to be chess and checkers and rook tournament, but you'll need a partner if you want to participate in that. Sister Renee needs to know by this Friday if you are planning to attend the hyphen uh, Thunderbolt event, but this is open to the whole church. It is a baseball game that will take place on July 30th. It's a fun time for everybody to just come out and have some fun together. Um, but please see her. There is a cost involved. She'll explain all that if you don't know about it. But it would be a fun time. Again, these are things that we want God to just bless. And again, there's a purpose in, in the things that we do. So back to the scripture. We're coming boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find help in the time of need. Our answer is right here. It's Jesus. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you that we can come together, Lord God, on this Sunday and over the internet, Lord God, to just come and hear the word of God, to be refreshed and renewed, to be fed in you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for this church. I thank you, God, that we have a place that we can assemble together. I thank you, Lord God, that we know today you have walked into this place, Lord. Whether it's a physical place on State Street or, Lord God, into the homes of those that are watching, you have entered this place, Lord Jesus. Now, God, we are going to do our part where the scripture says we can come boldly before your throne. And God, bring our cares and our, our worries and our sicknesses and our troubles to you, Lord God. God, we will find mercy, Lord Jesus. You will be our help in the time of need, Lord Jesus. I thank you for that, God. I thank you, God, that today there's going to be a mighty outpouring and a refreshing upon your people, Lord God. God, the Holy Ghost will be poured out, God. We're coming together just to, to unite together and pray.
praise and worship. Lord, we thank you for all these activities that we do around here, Lord God. We thank you for the opportunity to work, reach out to others, God, to come together as a church family, Lord, to have some fun together, Lord God. But God, there is a purpose in everything that we plan to do. And Lord, we need you in each of these things that we do, God. Let your spirit be poured out in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Let's praise and worship him today. Amen. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. God bless you. you. may be seated. Amen. God is able to do all things, and we thank him for it. And I'm also appreciative of how he blesses us to be able to do his will. God would never call us to do anything that he doesn't empower us to do. 
Amen. If he calls you to do it, if he desires us to do it, he'll make a way for it to be done. And I thank God for people that trust his ability to work in their life through them. Amen. We don't even know the half of what God could do through any one of us. But when you give yourself to him, when you say, Lord, whatever it is you would have me to do, I'm willing, I'm willing to do it. Amen. As pastor of First Apostolic Church, Steger, I want to say how much I appreciate every single one that helped us with this week's funeral of Sister Imogene Cartwell. And uh, for those that may not uh, have had the privilege of knowing them, uh, Pastor Cardwell, his wife, Sister Imogene, pastored here from 1991, uh, 1961 to 1992 and uh, gave 31 years of their life to, to help this church. We are so appreciative of them. Sister Cardwell was 94 years of age when she went to be with the Lord. But uh, if I heard it one time, I heard it probably... 50 times last week. Pastor Cox, everything is so nice. Pastor Cox, everybody is so helpful. Pastor Cox, the church looks great. Pastor Cox, the the the, the parking team helped me find a spot right quick. Pastor Cox, the food was wonderful. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for just showing your love and appreciation. Amen. I believe that uh, as a church, we, we came together uh, even before the funeral. There's been a whole lot of work that's been done around the church in preparation for it. Just so many men and women given so much of their time. And uh, coming together, working together is enjoyable. Amen. The work of the Lord is easier when we all put our shoulders to the wheel, as the old song said. And uh, that, is, that is our joyful privilege. But I just want to say I love you and I'm thankful. For each of you helping us this past week uh, to to do this and I believe the ministry of the Lord went forward praise God amen because it was such a busy week and because my wife and I and our family got to go down to Friday of camp meeting I was so thrilled to to call on Pastor Rodney Kidder and say brother Kidder could you bring the word of the Lord today and he was he was so excited to do so we appreciate the Kidder family we appreciate their assistance and their ministry around here all the things that they do. Are you ready to receive from the word of the Lord today? Amen. I I wonder if you would stand together in honor of a man of God and just lift your voices one more time to God and let's give God praise and open our hearts to be receptive to the word of God today. In Jesus' name, Lord, I want to receive from your word today. I need your word today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. I'm thrilled to have so many guests here today. Thank you for being here. You make our day much better. Additionally, I'm grateful to have my cousin Jason and Michelle with us today. My retired mother-in-law. So glad she's here today. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I performed a family wedding, and I spoke at that wedding, and I must have done okay, because they're back to hear me. I mean, my mother-in-law, she's stuck hearing me, right? But my cousins, they, 